of known students you all know that mathematics is used in our daily life there are a lot of applications can you give me an example where mathematics is used in shops yes in shops while buying selling we use it now apart from that in newspapers also you would have studied how mathematics is used i have brought a xerox copy of that so it's here only can you see that the same thing is xerox star so when you actually see the weather forecast what are all the things that they will discuss there rainfall very good rainfall rainfall whether it will come today or not is predicted is predicted now using a mathematical idea rainfall is predicted now can you tell me how rainfall is predicted using a mathematical idea it's okay think over i'll come back to you can you tell me how rainfall is predicted using a mathematical idea okay children today we will study how rainfall is predicted using a mathematical idea so it's a very important question how was rainfall predicted using using because we are studying mathematics we are interested in that mathematical idea mathematical idea now in order to predict rainfall we should learn that mathematical idea so let us learn that first in science labs you would have conducted many experiments after the experiment what do you get we get results we get some results the result is also called outcome the result is also called outcome where else do you get results can you give me an example when exams are written very good when exams are written we get results what is the other word used for results outcome outcome so we use the word outcome now when science experiments are conducted how are the outcomes in numerical form they are given in numerical data correct how are the results okay i'll help you suppose you measure the ro rod the length of the rod and you repeat it 10 times how will be the result every time result in numbers you are measuring the rod only that rod how will be the result every time you repeat the experiment repeated it is repeated how is the result obtained will the length vary no so how is the result same very good it is the same so how are the results of science experiments they are same they are same same they are same or they are certain now i will uh, explain one another type of experiment not conducted in the lab but outside the lab suppose i take a coin you have seen a coin and i toss it and when i toss the coin what is the outcome that we get head or tail either head or tail you are correct so what is the outcome that we get lakshmita either head or tail either head or tail now tell me how are the outcomes of this experiment tossing a coin how are they okay you compare with the outcomes of science experiments how are the outcomes in tossing a coin not known it is not known you cannot predict it you are right so sit down the outcomes of tossing a coin are not certain now such experiments where outcomes are not certain is given a special name can you tell me what name we can give for experiments whose outcomes are not certain okay i'll help you look at this chart here it is a picture showing the movement of gas particles how are the particles moving here and there how are they there is a word used for that how are the gas particles 
scattered. They are scattered. Particles are scattered. But when you take one particle, how is it moving? Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Can you tell me how are the particles moving? You listen to the answer. Randomly. Very good. They are moving randomly. So, in the same way, when the outcomes are not certain, unpredictable, what name can you give for such experiments? Random experiments. Random experiments. Good. So, what are random experiments? Experiments whose outcomes are not certain or unpredictable. Or are random or uncertain. You would all have seen another game played in our daily life. We use a cube or a die. So, when this die is thrown, can that become, that experiment become a random experiment? Throwing a die, can this become a random experiment? Yes. She is telling yes. Do you say it is a random experiment? Yes. How do you say it is a random experiment? Any numbers. Yes. So many numbers. So, we don't know which number will come. Very good. Suppose I show you this experiment. Read this. This is determining the boiling point of a liquid. Is this a random experiment? No. Why it is not a random experiment? Boiling point. Because always boiling point is same. Same boiling point. So it is not a random experiment. Now let us take the random experiments that we have discussed. Observe the chart. And in this chart, I have mentioned the two random experiments. Tossing a coin and throwing a die. Can you tell me how many outcomes are there for tossing a coin? Two. Two. Which are the outcomes here? H and T. H and T. What do you mean by H and T? Heads and tails. Heads and tails. So, totally how many outcomes are there? Two. So, they are called possible outcomes. Now, can you tell that Possible outcomes for throwing a die? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the number of possible outcomes? 6. It is 6. So, we have learnt about random experiments. Sit down. Now, when a random experiment is conducted, an event is always predicted. When a cricket game is happening, the two captains come. So, they want to predict some outcome. So, let us say, some event is predicted there. Any event we can take. For example, let us take an event. So, what is the expectation in this event? Heads. Heads. How many outcomes are favorable? One. Only one. Which is that? Heads. Heads. So, even number is predicted. How many outcomes are favorable? Three. Three. Okay. So, one out of how many? Two. Two. 3 out of how many? 6. Six. Now 1 out of 2, how can it be written mathematically? 1 divided by 2. 1 by 2. So what is this second event? How much? 3 by 6. 3 by 6. So I will show you how that is written. That is called chance of occurrence of an event. What is the other word used for chance? Okay. I will show you this. The chance of occurrence of an event is written here. So, what is that equal to? Number of favorable outcomes. No. By number of possible number outcomes. Number of possible outcomes. What is the other name used, uh, other word used for chance? Can you tell? Favorable outcomes by possible outcomes. Yeah, favorable outcomes by possible. Okay, I will help you. Here is an English uh, example from that subject. I am likely to attend the party. Likely, possibly and uh, plausibly. Which is other word you can use? May or may not. I may or may not. Any other word used for that? Probably. Yes, probably. So, this chance of occurrence is given another name. What is that name then? Probability. Probability. So, what is the probability of getting a head? One. One. Do you say only one? What is the probability of getting head? One out of two. One out of two or one by two. What is the probability of getting even number? Three by six. Three by six. Now, in the same way, how do you 
actually predict the rainfall using the mathematical idea. Can you explain? By using probability idea. Very good. We use probability idea to predict it. In that, which two outcomes you should know? Possible outcomes. Possible outcomes and which is other outcome? Favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes. Okay. So, I have a question here. In the years 2018 and 19, there were five Sundays. And in 18, out of 5, 2 Sundays it rained. What is the prediction that it will rain on a Sunday? 2 out of 5. 2 out of 5 or 2 over 5. What is the prediction that it will not rain on a Sunday? 3 by 5. 3 by 5. Now look at another example where a company is preparing bolts. 1000 bolts are prepared out of which 12 are defective. What is the probability that one piece sold is defective? 12 by 1000. 1000. Correct. 12 by 1000. What is the probability it is not defective? 988 by 1000. 988 by 1000. Suppose 1 lakh lottery tickets are sold and one first prize has to be declared. And you buy only one ticket. What is the prediction that you get the first prize? One. One by? One by one lakh. One lakh. One by one lakh. 